Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Jamarek coming to you today with a brand new video, boys. And today, we're taking a look at the new FIFA Mobile Beta. So let's get right into the video. So guys, welcome to another video on the channel. And today, guys, we have got our first looks at the new FIFA Mobile 19 Beta. Season 3 guys, so what we're going to be showing you is just an array of game modes uh, Giving you our thoughts and sort of asking for some feedback as well So ultimately, um, we do go through here and win 2-0 This is against Man City, it's one of the uh, more difficult season matches Or 11 versus 11 match, I don't know what it's called, campaign we'll call it um, So here is our pack, let's see who we do get we do get for Tongan. Uh, that match itself was pretty easy, even though it was um, specified as being a more difficult match. But here's the user interface. It does look very, very similar uh, to Season 2. But you got to remember, guys, this is only the beta. Um, and, you know, nothing in a beta is ever finalized. It's just usually a shell of what the game is going to be. And as you can see here, I do really like this uh, part about the game is this just really detailed sort of stats guys you know we've got the work rate we've got the celebration styles the skill moves the special traits all really really good stuff however let's jump into a versatile match and then go from there and here we are guys so jumping into our first versatile match this is our team 76 overall we did pack malcolm and he's actually a pretty decent card um one thing that i've noticed is that I'm not sure, but I think that players have assigned skill moves, so it may be sort of based on their um, skill rating, so a 5 star, 4 star. Um, I think that Malcolm is a 4 star, so he does have the roulette, but let's just see what this uh, verse attack is like. So as you can see, we can always do the same thing uh, with regards to the kickoff, kicking the ball away and then hoping for it to get us a better chance. Um, so that has sort of been the same for a very, very long time. Um, for me, uh, the the wider chances in particular, I do much, much prefer because crossing is actually quite deadly. Um, that's what I found anyway. Um, so I've really, really enjoyed just doing a whole bunch of different things. Here we do a double roulette with Malcolm and we do manage to score. I've been playing a bit with uh, the swipe as well as the button. I'm not sure which one is better. If you guys are testing that, let me know in the comment section down below. Free kicks are actually a bit more challenging, um, I found anyway, as we go for the long shot there, but unfortunately the goalkeeper does tip it out of bounds, but we do get the corner. Also, I did find uh, corners very, very difficult. Um, I haven't really scored any corners yet. If you guys have got any tips for the corners, let me know in the comment section down below, but there you can see guys, we actually score a great, great goal there off the volley. So I do really enjoy um, wide attacks, so I think that very, very sort of wide formations for me anyway are going to be quite useful, especially in uh, the verse attack mode. I do like it that verse attack is still here um, because it does give you options to actually go through and play different types of modes. As we mess up the pass there, another thing guys obviously is that passing is just so important now and that's what I've been missing in the last two seasons. Passing has been pretty much obsolete but with this new engine guys, I feel that there is a lot more emphasis on passing and that is something that I do really, really appreciate. It gives me a, a better experience. Let's see who we do pack in our pack. So we do actually pack 85 overall Mbappe guys, so that's a huge pull. Let's go and take a look at his uh, sort of detailed stats, his attributes, and then go from there. We'll jump into a player versus player game as well uh, and then we'll test out the skill game, see sort of uh, what we've got there and then show you our team at the end so let's just go and check out this Mbappe guys because obviously he is going to be an insane card so as you can see there 96 pace um and also another question what are your thoughts about the card design I'm also interested about that here you can see guys so let's have a look at his uh characteristics so we've got rainbow so obviously a five star skiller we've got a few special traits being the finesse speed dribbler as well as flair and see on the bottom right hand corner those arrows with the 4-1-1. I think that that may be chemistry guys. So keep an eye on that when we do get updates on that. So guys here we are in the head to head alpha. So this is obviously the one that a lot of people are very very interested about. For me this is the one game mode that I have been really wanting. And it has finally arrived. So in my opinion this is the creativity that FIFA Mobile 
has been lacking for the last two seasons and I really hope that it is a very successful mode. What we're going to be showing you is just some cut up footage so we will be talking over um, some of the gameplay that we do have. So as you guys can see there, um, there are still chance distributions so it's going to be interesting to see how that works. Here we've got Kylian Mbappe. Now as you guys did see, he did have the rainbow. Um, so that's the rainbow guys. I think that each player does have their own individual skill. So obviously Kylian Mbappe is a 5 star skiller so he does have the rainbow. Um, and the likes of like Malcolm, he has the roulette. And some of them will have like the, the step over and that sort of stuff depending on their level of uh, skills when it comes to dribble. Now I'm not sure if the dribble statistic does affect that. We'll have to wait and see as the season does progress because obviously at the moment guys we cannot train any players. But here we did finally get an opportunity to score a goal. Now it's definitely very very hard to score. Um, in our first few games like it was just so hard to score. Um, but as usual guys you know you do sort of get used to things and things do become a bit more natural. Here we've got a, another attack that does result in a cross and a header there by Malcolm to score our first goal of this match. So that was a good start guys um, and I do like these celebrations. As you can see there though, uh, one of the defenders does have blue hair so obviously you can expect that sort of stuff in our uh, beta guys. You know, it's not a fully ironed out version of the game. There are going to be a ton of bugs and there's just going to be heaps of things that aren't necessarily uh, for the main game at the end. So just consider that if you are testing the game, there will be a whole bunch of things wrong with it. Um, but let's go and open up this pack. Who do we get guys? We do get 80 overall party. What we've got here is just some gameplay uh, versus the computer. I wanted to test out the rainbow a bit more. Here is one of the most insane goals I scored uh, in my playtime. A pretty nice goal by Kylian Mbappe. I'm already really enjoying this sort of stuff guys and I hope that you guys are too. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below like sort of what your main things that you did enjoy about the beta if you are testing it. If not, um, what are the things that you don't like about it? Because obviously it's not perfect, guys, like I did say. But for me, I, I really do like the, the gameplay engine uh, from what I've seen so far anyway. Um, also, let me know what your thoughts are about the card design. As we've got Mbappe here, we're just going to test out the rainbow once again. So we rainbow flick over and we do volley it from way outside the box. And it bounces past the keeper. So a pretty nice goal, guys. You can see already um, how deadly the rainbow flick is. It's pretty, pretty impressive to say the least. Um, and one thing that I do like about this new game mode or the new uh, engine I should say is that it's not just roulette rainbow shoot. There's so much more to it. There's passing and it does really feel like a better football experience in my opinion. Here we're just going to try uh, another outrageous goal with Mbappe. So let's just see if we can find him. There he is guys. So let's see if we can get the rainbow and let's have another shot. So let's see. And unfortunately, this time we do not score. Jumping into a skill game now. So the skill games, in my opinion, uh, look much more polished. Um, also, another question that I did have for you guys. Do you prefer the button or swiping? I've been sort of testing both. In the box, swiping does feel uh, much, much easier than the shot button. The shot button is a bit erratic. Like sometimes it will go all over the place. But you can see there we do score three relatively nice goals but just remember that was a skill game let's just go and see who we do pack in this so let's see who we do get guys and we do pack 88 overall Diego got in so a very very nice pull what I'm going to do now is just jump into my team show you it and then end off the video and guys here's the team at the moment so we are sitting on 82 overall it looks pretty nice um we finally got it all elite um but obviously that's not that difficult to get considering how easy it is to actually obtain the elite all you need to do is really just go through and play all the games now i was looking at some of the formations guys and i didn't see uh 343 diamond so it could be rise that it is the end of diamond and there could be uh, maybe a new bunch of formations coming into the game um for me i did really find that four at the back was pretty useful um i mean i've been using uh the 433 attack this whole time for example, in Season 2, guys, you know, everybody was pretty much using 3-5-1-1, or everyone is using, I should say, 3-5-1-1, 3-5-2, or 3-4-3 Diamond, um, because the chances were just so much, so much better. I think that maybe in this season, uh, there could be definitely more opportunities for different formations. That's what I'm hoping anyway, um, and obviously, you know, depending on which game mode you play, like, say, for example, player versus player, 
you probably want to have four at the back as opposed to maybe you want three at the back in verse attack we'll just have to wait and see guys but overall um it's very very interesting this version and i'm very very excited for the full release to come out next month are you guys excited for it as always guys very very interested in your thoughts as you can see there as well there is a red diamond so it looks as though we are getting another currency that will be very very interesting um in nba live mobile i know they have like a rep system which is sort of you play uh, the equivalent of like verse attack and you earn rep points and then you use those rep points to uh, get packs in the store so maybe those red diamonds are going to be something like that but we'll just have to wait and see guys but other than that let me know how it's going and this is jamrat signing out for the day thank you all for everything and peace